Yo, what's good with y'all, gang? And gang, finally, after a decent enough wait, we have finally got what I consider to be the long-awaited North Yankton experience with this Ludendorff Cemetery survival game. If y'all know me, I have been excited about this zombie survival in GTA Online since I knew about it when this DLC came out. So, gang, man, in this video, man, we're going to get into this. Make sure you leave a like if you like this, bro. To subscribe if you're new. And, bro, let's just get into it for real, gang. All right, man, before we get right into the game, oh, man, it reads that. That's what it reads. I'm not reading it for you. So you read that? I bet. All right, Brody, here we go. The new loot and door zombie survival. I'm actually stupid excited for this. I cannot lie, gang. Oh, whoa, bro. You don't get a fucking mini map in this. Oh, no, nah, that's OD. Okay, so I do see that you can get a mini map if you hold your weapon wheel. That's the only way you can get a mini map. Whoa! I did try to do this with some other players and stuff, but didn't know other players actually um, join up or anything. So I don't know why didn't nobody join or nothing. Look, I actually got somebody spectating right now. But yeah, we're gonna look at this as kind of like a first impressions thing for me, because this is actually my first time actually playing the undead survival thing. I don't know how challenging this is gonna be. That's like the number one thing I've been like looking for to is the actual challenge of this we just got to check it out gang so far it seems simple but at the same time i want to see like longer waves like the more waves we get how much more difficult is the actual challenge of this gonna become that's a that's what i've been wanting to know for the most part all right there's one more undead and then he go right there boom simple wave one easiest ice cream no problems at all i can get jiggy with it gang i really can yo what's up my g you doing all right you ready to kill some undead you ready to kill some undead, my G? You better not be no slouch. Get on your ass. I wanna know how many waves is this all together, too. Here, little zombie, 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 zombies. Let me holler it. Oh, what was that? Was that a hog? Yo, they didn't say that they was gonna have zombie animals in this. I didn't expect that. That's actually a W, I'm not gonna lie. I actually wanna try a melee weapon. Let me see if I can find an undead and melee weapon. Uh, ah! Come here, pussy. Wave two is done. So far from what I can tell, it's kind of on the like normal side from what I'm expecting. But I think the longer you play this, the more insane things you're going to run into. I don't know like what's the maximum amount of waves. I'm going to guess it's 10. But I'm guessing we're going to have to really just wait and see. Oh, my God. He actually scared the shit out of me. Oh, they starting to run now. Holy crap. Gang, the crazy thing about me when it come down to like zombie stuff, especially like in video games is I don't, I love like zombie games and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, but I'm not the real big like COD zombie player, believe it or not. Like I know a lot of people, they play Call of Duty for zombies and stuff. And I always say I'm gonna check out zombies, but I've never really been like one of them people that's like really heavy into zombies or whatever like that. Who is that? Y'all take them out, take them out. Oh my God, he had so much. We look at this fiery dude. What the hell? Look at this damage. Yeah, watch out, bitch. We got one more undead to go. I just saved your ass. You owe me one. Yo, by the time, bro, we at wave three and stuff has already hit the fan. This is actually insane. I actually want to know how OP the stone hatchet would be in this. Stone hatchet does not give you the boost that I thought it would. All right, I'm getting surrounded. I need to run. Let me see. Should we do like explosive shotgun? Let's try it out. Pussy. <laughs> Back up. Oh, ho, ho. oh, yeah. Explosive shotgun is OP. I will tell you now that assault shotgun seem to be like the move move. Like if you want to do an insane amount of damage, like really quickly, you definitely want to go this, this weapon right here. This weapon right here is definitely OP. Maybe that or the explosive shotgun, but you won't have a lot of ammo for that. Okay, there we go. Survive wave four. So far, so good. We doing pretty good. I'm actually enjoying myself. I'm glad this is it. Zombies with guns. That's what I was worried about with Rockstar, but they seem to have did their research and they did their homework on how like a good zombies game was supposed to be, be played. I'm actually having fun with this, Rockstar. Good job, bro. I also kind of like how you can't really just hold up anywhere. That's also something that I was actually worried about with this. I 
thought this was gonna be one of them things where you kind of just could just hold up and just sit in one little area and kind of just shoot off and pick off zombies for. I'm really glad that's not the case. Like you gotta always be moving and always be looking around, especially because of the simple point of fact that there is no no mini map. Like the fact that there's no radar, no mini map, that's actually insane. And the only way you can see it is by holding down the um the weapon wheel, buddy. That's actually insane. I mean, I'm glad they gave us that option so we can at least look at our health and shit and go crazy. But that's actually lit. Check out the remaining undead. Get your ass smoked, bitch. My guy went crazy with that minigun. Also, gang, it's 4.22 in the morning. I stayed up for this. What the hell is that? Oh, we got us another fire, dude. Go ahead and take him out quickly. Let's go. Whoa, what the world is this? What is that? Oh, they got like, they got like little smoke, but they like got like little smoke things or whatever. Is that killing us? No, it's not killing us. It don't seem to be actually doing no damage. But what does that mean? Are those like portals? Oh, that is insane, dude. Yo, another portal just popped up in my face. That's crazy. Run away. Oh, there's so many of them behind me. Holy moly. Yo, I wonder can you get like a train going in this? I wonder if I do this. Bang! Oh yeah, that, actually, that absolutely works. You can actually throw a sticky bomb on a zombie, bro, and blow him up. That's actually insane. I wonder if I can do this right. Nope, it's a dude right here. Right, there should be one more undead remaining. Where is the last one? What is that? It was an undead mage. That's what was making the damn portals pop up. Oh, that's insane. Okay. So far, I can tell you I actually like this. This is actually kind of lit. I kind of wish I had more players, but it is like 4 o'clock in the morning and probably ain't nobody up. But this is actually kind of fun. I'm actually really impressed with this. No bullshit. Holy shit, it's a deer. Let me get my assault. Yo, it's a couple of deer. You know a weapon I haven't tried is my combat MG. Let's see how much damage this do against the zombies. Especially like some that actually got a whole bunch of health. Okay, it do a decent amount of, it do a decent amount of damage. It's definitely probably the best long range um, weapon that you can use. Like weapon that got actual range besides the shotgun. I think the shotgun is the best weapon you can probably use in this though. The assault shotgun that is. Holy crap. I like the exploding ones too, cause the exploding ones can take out other ones if they in like close proximity. Survive wave seven. 43 kills, I got 26 of them. Hopefully by round 10, we'll probably end up having to kill like 50, 60, 75 of them, if not a whole hundred. Yo, it's a zombie juggernaut. Holy smoke, look at the damage. Yo, this thing broke, that thing took so much damage, holy crap. Yeah, they starting to move way faster too. That's another juggernaut. Oh crap, that's that smoke. I gotta get away from that smoke. Yes, you can actually melee him too. I was wondering if you could do that. I was wondering if you could do that. We need to find that mage. That that mage go, we gotta take it out. Yes, let's go. Melee seemed to work great. Oh my God. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop doing what you are doing, bro. I died! No way I died! No way we actually failed this. We reached wave eight and died, dude. Only 25,000 though. I mean, we did fail, so I'm pretty sure you could probably make up was of like 200K if you actually complete this. But man, what? That is actually insane, bro. I cannot, I cannot fathom that. That is crazy. I actually really like that. That was kind of fun. All right, gang. So that was the Ludendorff Cemetery Survival. It's crazy because there is an endless mode to that. You can activate it or deactivate it right before you play the game or whatever. So if you like really enjoy it or like really want to see how many waves you can survive, you could probably just grind them shits out. And if you make it to like some crazy wave numbers, you probably can make a lot of money from this but i'm pretty sure you would probably have to go in it and actually go in with a full-fledged team or something like that i just got a lot of rp holy shit and i completed a weekly challenge bro i got a hundred thousand dollars for surviving three ways without dying but i will say this bro first impressions i really actually like the game oh man it actually turned out to be way more challenging than i ever thought it was gonna be i thought literally it was gonna end up being like zombies with guns and i really didn't want that but from what it looked like rockstar actually did an amazing job with it man they got mages you got zombie juggernauts you got insane zombies
zombies, they get faster, they get stronger. And it just seemed like the more and more and more waves you get into, the harder and harder it get. And that's what I really wanted. I really wanted it to be a challenge. I really wanted it to be something that you can actually, you actually got to sit down and really like be careful about when you get down into it, game. So that's just my feelings on it. Like I said, it's really just a first impressions. I'm pretty sure over the next couple of weeks or days or whatever like that, people going to really find out like some of the best strikes and some of the better weapons and stuff like that, which I don't really think you need a god for this. You know what I'm saying? Just shoot, kill zombies, and don't die. And if you got a team, a good team, I think y'all can make it. I'm pretty sure the maximum amount of waves is 10, but at the end of the day, I really like it. I definitely think it's good. Like, I actually, I actually will go back in. Holy shit! Whoa! You gotta love that Rockstar Halloween weather, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go back in to try to actually get the wave 10 and see how much money you actually can get for actually completing it. But I'm gonna try to make sure I have like a good team or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on PlayStation, I'm gonna do it on Xbox, or if I mess around and do it on both. We'll just have to wait and see. But I actually enjoyed it. I definitely think y'all will enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you tried it. Will you try it? Did you enjoy it? Just let me know how you're feeling about the new Ludendorff thing. Like I said, I'm definitely happy that it's here. I always wanted to go back to North Yankton organically without having to use a glitch or something. I hate that it's not in like free mode or something like that. And I hate it's just a Halloween mode that's gonna be gone after the Halloween festivities is done but hey it's here and i'm actually glad it's here man it's definitely a w fucking game mode i give it personally a nine out of ten it's great to me like i don't you know ain't nothing really perfect but it's great to me to be honest i might just throw it a 10 out of 10 the only reason i'm not throwing 10 out of 10 because i haven't completed it and i don't know how outrageous it get towards like wave 10 or whatever like that man but that's pretty much my little first impressions of the new survival in the game go man like i said i stayed up all night for this i could have stayed up streaming but i kind of wanted to just chill and make a video about it instead of streaming it or whatever man but y'all let me know again how y'all feeling about it and again man if you like this video make sure you leave a like subscribe if you new i definitely would appreciate the game but i'm getting ready to get on up out of here w fucking game or rockstar definitely do appreciate y'all dropping that i'm definitely gonna be tapping into that all week this week no cap at least as much as i can at least let's just say it like that man but i love each and every last one of y'all thank y'all for checking out this video man and like i always say gang y'all be easy y'all take care and until the next one gang I'm about this thing, man. Peace.